Hi guys, welcome. Today you are not going to see me, but uh, because I fixed my camera on a tripod and I don't want to change the angle again and again, so you'll just be seeing the table and my hands and the products that I'll be showing you today. And I'm really happy with the ink. So as you can see, I've already swatched them once, but I'm going to do it again today and let's see how it goes and hope you guys enjoy so uh, you won't be able to see me right now i will just be showing you the things today so a very warm welcome to all of you uh, as we all know that nara has launched the inks and they come in 15 ml packs um, and they don't come pierced from the top so that's actually quite good because um, I make a quite a thin uh, you know, piercing with a small needle and that helps me in actually regulating the amount that comes out of the bottle. Often when we see the other bottles that are already pierced then um, one is the chances of you know leakage during transport as well as uh, a lot of ink comes out even when you want to drop just a bottle, uh, just a drop. So that's why I like that I can create small uh, piercing at the top and that really helps. So just pierce it a little carefully because some of it, it might splatter so hold the tissue while piercing. Okay so I'm going to remove this and first I will show you all the things that I'll be using today so people don't have to ask uh, what am I going to use the products. So the first thing of course I'm going to use all the Nara inks. Uh, then um, I'm going to use these uh, small sheets of Nara paper. It is 275 micron the thinner one and it's cut in 4 by 5 and I'm going to use the same size of Nara black as well. Um, Apart from that, I am going to use isopropyl alcohol. I get it from um, DIY for you because recently there have been a lot of complaints about impure alcohol or you know diluted ones being sent from Amazon. So I've started buying from DIY for you. So this is the one that I'll be using today. And maybe if I need, if something is going out of control, maybe some brushes and this marker pen to write down the names of this is a Stedler permanent marker pen that I'm going to use to write down the names of the inks that we try for blow drying my trusted Chinese simple blow dryer broke down yesterday so today I'm going to use this Panasonic it is a hot air brush um, curling iron kind of a brush and I have removed the top part so it is just the bottom part it's a it's a simple tool um, all right so I'm not going to follow any order for inks like I'm not going to do pinks first and reds and all that I'm just going to pick anyone that comes and let's see because uh, then it will be random and it would be more fun so the first one that I have is dusky pink all right usually I put alcohol first but since we are swatching, I'm going to put uh, the ink first and I'm going to put it aside and put some alcohol on it. And I'm going to dry it for you.
so uh, today I'm not going to do it like two times I'm not going to reactivate it because then 34 inks will take a lot of time so this is dusky pink it's a very nice dull pink like a millennial pink kind of a shade like you can call it the grays of the pink and uh, it's really nice and very good for florals maybe and I really like how mm, it's thinning out and giving very nice edges over here. So I'm going to write the name of the ink so that we don't forget later. Dusky pink. Alright. So the next one. Let's see what comes out of this. Navy silk. It's navy silk. I like this one because it's kind of a mm, navy blue but not so much like a dull blue color. It's a very beautiful color. And I'm putting some alcohol and again going to dry it. so this is a grayish blue color it has some um, blackish undertones and a good thing about all the inks is that they match with each other so it's so nice you can just pick any two and they will match with each other because they're all kind of similar so I'm going to write the name navy silk is the name of the ink all right so let's see what is the next one that comes up. Okay, so tangerine. These swatching sheets are really cute. Uh, last time when I had done it, I had to cut all of them. But this time I got pre-cut in specific size. So it's easier to do the swatching. Maybe some more up. So this is tangerine, very nice orange color as it should be for a tangerine shade, exactly like that. So I'm going to write the name, alright. So the next ink is, I hope it's a green, no it's my favorite till now is caramel sauce. I really like this one uh, as you must have seen pre in the previous video as well. I really like this and I'm going to use it a lot I'm sure. So because um, it's a very nice brownish uh, yellow ochre color. So and it uh, gives very beautiful waves.
my favorite of the lot is caramel sauce it's exactly a caramel color actually okay. now let's see what is next okay so this is brinjal date so this one is a bright color this is not dull like others this is quite bright and pigmented as you will see it will give a very nice purple color so. So it's quite deep dark purple color very pretty for if you if you like this color so it's brinjal date I'm going to show you all of them later so we can see how each one looks Now let's see what comes okay so this is also my favorite i have been using this uh, recently uh, you must have seen in my stories gulabi so that's a very indian name gulab is the name of the rose and gulabi color is the rose color so and thank you for using an indian name pretty no so i am sure all of you will buy this because one it is an indian name and you are going to use a lot of this for making flowers it will look really good for flowers so gulabi so the next one oh this is another one of my favorites this is christmas wood so guys um, at this point let me remind you you might have a lot of questions just send them to me on what instagram or to nara papers because i am not looking at the comments at all right now so just message me and i will reply i'll try to reply as soon as possible so as i said i usually put alcohol first so as not to stain the paper but uh, it's not staining so much anyways this is a burnt umber kind of a color mm, or raw umber kind of a color dark brown and it's quite good it has it like all the colors this one also has black undertones so it's called oh, christmas wood the next color it's a blue satin sea so this one also i really liked so as you are hearing me saying it again and again that i really liked so this is a light teal um, sky blue kind of a color very nice
very pretty color i am going to use this one a lot too satin c is the name of the color i'm going to write it down i hope you are liking all the colors so far the next one is starlit hues it's a purple color blackish purple very nice shade so uh, the pigmentation will depend on how much ink you use and how much alcohol you used nice right so this is starlit hues i am writing it immediately otherwise later on it would be difficult to uh, match the color with the ink so that's why next one is english horse this is really nice uh, sepia kind of a color Um, I had posted a photo of this today on my story, so I'm going to post it again. I used it for creating a ripples kind of effect yesterday, and it worked really well. So. creates a lot of ripples very beautiful color and um i like making swatches because i don't have to think what i'm going to do just blow the ink dry english horse is the name of the color <clears throat> so the next one is a purple it's called pastel evening Let's see. I forgot how this looked like. Okay, so it's a light purple color. I'm going to use a little bit more here because it's looking less pigmented to me. So each color you will have to figure out how much to use. so um this one is a little less pigmented than the others so pastel evening but it's looking really nice mauve kind of a color pastel color i like the names that they have chosen for the inks very 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 nice names very different names as well Okay so finally a green this one we have tried before alopino stroke so let me do this quickly this i am sure everybody is going to use a lot for making leaves and trees and foliage kind of effects it will look good for those olive green color
you see again very nice all most of the ink colors have a dark undertone like a brownish or blackish so that makes it very easy for you to match them because they will uh, you can use any color with any color and they'll match so that's a good thing alapino stroke for you okay so the next one is gouda cheese crackle i used this today uh, i had posted a picture for creating the top part of the waves it's looking really nice it's a yellow it's a, when it is wet it's looking like a caramel color but when it dries it becomes yellow like uh, not sunshine yellow but quite a uh, brownish yellow see such nice uh, dark areas it has even after being yellow my dryer is like extremely hot it is drying the ink very fast so i'm not getting enough time to play around with it gota cheese crackle The one that I usually use just broke down a few days back and I have to use this one. So the next one, of course, this we have tried already. It's Mermaid's Dress. Like uh, last time I had tried this one. It's a nice dull blue color. Very pretty. I'm sure all of you will like it. Teal color. 